Hi, I'm Andrew. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at using drum rack to make rhythms and sequences for us. But not random rhythms, actually repeatable rhythms and sequences using a few little tricks that take a slice or a series of slices and play them in a particular pattern. Let's have a quick listen, then we'll have a look how it works. And at the end I'll show you how you can make the rack yourselves if you're interested. So we have our drum rack here, which consists of 16 slices. And we have here within our clip, in this case, we have four triggers playing slice one. And what is happening here, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll understand the use of this function in the expression control. The expression control takes this one trigger, generates a note, takes the next trigger, generates a higher note in this case because it's moving up, we only have it unipolar, so it's moving up, takes the next trigger, generates another higher note, and the next trigger generates another higher note. So if I change this down to four, that means for every time it hits a note, a trigger is generated here. This generates a pitch value here. Each one of these triggers generates a pitch value, which in this pattern we have here represents this note, this note, this note, and this note. If I was to change, let's say, one of these values, the range here, slice range, opens up how many of these 16 slices we can use. If I reduce it down to one or zero, all our notes are restricted to this one slice. So as I open up this window effectively, one, it starts to have access to more slices. If I open it up to six, and then we can use, or the expression control can use pitches within this entire range here. Now these patterns repeat themselves, they're not random. It'll always repeat the same pattern. So um, if I change this value here from four, so at the moment one, two, three, four, every note represents a step. If I was to knock it out of sequence, but I put it on five steps, and then now the fifth one will be played here, reset here. So one, two, three, four, five, reset one, two, three, four, and around and around it goes. If I line it again, line it up again with the sequences, put it on eight, It'll go around twice before it resets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyway, so these are triggers. We can influence how many steps are played here with this control, and we can influence the range here. And that allows us to generate different patterns, because uh, I'll give an example. If I reduce the number of steps to two, but we've got the full range, it can play all of them, it plays 1 and 16. If I reduce the range, it starts to pull in the top value, 4%. Is it moving down? Now it's restricted to 9. And down it comes, all the way down to 0, when it's restricted to basically the first slice. So that's how the pattern generation works. Um, we have one more function here, maybe I should explain, which is uh, an LFO here called Variation LFO. This is generating random, random waves, random square waves, effectively, which 
control these two values here. So we have the rate, which is set in musical values here. At the moment I'm set to one bar. And then we have the depth. Now if I increase the depth here, and I've put a steps on, let's say put it on five, you see the little dot here. So every one bar, this will now vary by 20%. So what's that doing? That's effectively giving me variations here. Sometimes it's five, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's six, sometimes it's seven steps, which changes up our patterns here. So then we get a much broader range of pattern variation. Okay, so those are really just the controls for the pattern. Um, then we have here some effects. Let's close these up. I'll just explain the rest of the rack very quickly, and then I'll explain how you can make this, how you can get your slices in here quickly. So yeah, so I say we have um, a redux. We have a filter here, which we can control. In the pattern we have the filter envelope here, mapped and then delay and reverb at the end. Very simple stuff. Here we go, we've got our cutting off the low frequencies here. Okay, and then a delay. So that's all the rack consists of. The core of the rack is really making the patterns jump around in here. Now let's just have a quick look how you can quickly make one of these racks. Let's turn this off for a second. So we don't need, this pattern, or oh, oh, one final thing maybe I can just show you here on on this one here. Sometimes you might not just want to have, um, let's turn this on. At the moment it's playing this for, but I could have something like this. I'm not restricted. So I can put different pattern variations. These are the triggers that activate the expression control. In this case, eight. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, reset, one, two, three, four. Okay, so as I say, you don't, you're not restricted to just these four notes. Okay, anyway, let's just have a look quickly at how you'd create one of these, because once you've got the rack set up, you can switch this out. Um, let's uh, get rid of the notes for a second. So on this track, I have a MIDI track set up with Simpler, and it's simply a case of just going into your samples. You could make a series of chords, progressions, or whatever you wanted to do. Make your samples. I'll just I'll just grab this one here. You drop it in, and then we need 16 steps. So we need to slice down here, and we won't go by transient. We'll go by a beat. And this one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, wonderful, sixteen. And all I do now is right click, slice to drum rack. And now I have the drum rack. If I go back to my original, I'll switch out the chords here. I can now delete this, select it, delete it, go here to underwater, grab this and pull it just onto the channel, hold it with your mouse key, and then just drop it in here. And then I don't know what this is going to sound like, but let's have a listen. There we go. So you can do that with, as I say, you can make your own chord progressions, whatever you like. It's very simple. Change up the, change up the pattern. Okay, so I hope it's understandable as always. Um, let's just have a look how it's constructed. Okay, so I've got my original drum rack here. You can find your drum rack in Instruments Drum Rack, and if you drop that in, this is what you'll get. I've kept this one because it has the samples in it, save me some time. <clears throat> now the first thing you want to do is to group this, right click and then group and this opens up then the macros okay but I'm going to undo this quickly 
and I'm actually going to drag this into my original channel here and drop it into my original rack. Yeah, turn that off. So as I say, I have the macros here set up, saves me a little bit of time, but that's what you would have. This would effectively be blank, your drum rack would be inside it. You then fill it with your samples and then we go around and set up the various effects we need. So the first thing we're going to need is the expression control. We'll drop that at the front here. And the pitch. Let's go to the audio effects here. We're going to need an LFO. And those are the three components we need to control this rack effectively. Um, so let's set this up very quickly and then we can put our effects in to show you how quickly it goes. We need to go expression control, increment down the bottom here, click on this. We set this to 0% and we map this to our pitch here. Now the random we need to reduce to 1% as well, we need to get rid of that. And finally, all we have to do is map the controls here the output range to our slice range and the number of steps here to our slice steps. Now we'll change the slice range from zero to six percent which gives us our range for this block here of 16 slices. I've not tried it but I believe if you change this to 12 percent you should be able to then cover 32 slices, 18 percent you cover these three blocks here if you have more slices. Now, we also need to change here the slice steps to match 16 we have. Here we have 16 slices, so we'll set that to 16. Um, this should now work in theory. Let's try. Set that to zero. Yes. We just have the one slice. If I now increase the range and the number of steps, it starts to move different. Right, so that's set up. Let's just set up the LFO. This needs to be 100%. This needs to be in musical divisions. And the waveform needs to be random. We can now map this to our slice steps. And that's set up as well. All that remains now are to map these two. The very rate for the LFO the variation rate and the very depth that's done and then now you can just add your effects I'll put the effects in I had um, I had a redux I believe just at the back here in between the LFO and the end of the rack here we need the auto filter a delay and finally I had a reverb, standard stuff. Let's get these mapped to our macros quickly. Um, the LFO we don't need anymore, that's done. The Redux, I believe I had the sample rate here, that's done. The filter, we just need the filter frequency, resonance and envelope, done. The delay, we need the delay rate, click in this box here. The delay feedback and the dry wet. I say set these up however you like. The reverb, uh, oh, no, I don't want that one. So unmap that, sorry. We need the room size, the decay. And then I had here macro 14 and 15 were the chorus amount and the chorus rate. And then finally the dry wet. So that's it, we're all set up. This one I had, I believe I had a low cut here and I just trim off the bottom of the reverb a little bit. Um, yeah, that's it, that should all work now. Let's try, see what we get. As I say, my name's Andrew. Um, have a look at the channel, see if there's anything that interests you. That I've been creating some weird and wonderful stuff. Um, have a look around. Apart from that, as always, enjoy your day, have some fun, make yourself some sample sets, some chord progressions or whatever, or just chop up some samples and put them in. 
and then see how you get on with this. Have fun, take care.